Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a seven card spread. This is for the New World Order, the beginning part two. Okay, so I did one last night on the New World Order, and um, I felt like I needed to put out more information. As I received the information again, I need to put more out there. So this is part two, okay? Ooh, this is going to be a hard one because there's a lot of energy here, okay? And I literally felt like I'm choking. This energy is literally choking me. So, first we have the Knight of Wands. And as we all know, Knights mean, me, sorry, Knights mean movement, okay? Movement, lots of hasty movement because we see the horse, he's jumping up in the air, okay? He's moving fast, he's hasty. And look at his face. So in this, usually in, in a love reading, you get this one when an ex is coming back or a player, someone that's a player. A player is someone that's no good. Someone that, <coughs> excuse me, someone that causes um, problems in your life, you know, that isn't serious about you. But in this case, we're asking about the virus and um, who leashed it out, what happened. My questions were how long is it going to last? And basically, I asked in the next two years, what can, can we see in the next two years with the New World Order and this virus and whoever leashed it out? So the, this is the first card that came up. So this is the enemy and the virus itself rushing in. This is what this card represents. Okay, now next to it, <coughs> sorry, y'all. Uh, I did doc talk to my doctor about my cough. It is going away, y'all, but when I start talking is when I start coughing. Um, he told, My doctor told me that I needed steroids, you know, because I did have the flu. I was hospitalized five weeks ago for the flu. I took tons and tons of antibiotics, but I still have this lingering cough, and it comes from, yes, my lungs, but he said it's because I needed steroids, but I am allergic to steroids, so they will not give them to me. In the meantime, I'm still taking cough medicine and doing all I can to get over this lingering cough that I have. So, to move on with that, this is the devil. Okay, this is the person, the people, the government that leashed out the disease. Now, if you believe in this, fine, and if you don't, that's fine too. But I'm only going to read to you what the cards are telling me and what the spirit guides are telling me. This disease was, in fact, developed to leash out, to control mankind, control humankind. To con they, this government wanted to control, basically, the world. You see how he's got the people chained? Okay, and that's how he wants to keep everybody chained. Okay, chained to his new world order. So they leashed out the disease to control population, but not only to control population, but to control the way we live, the way we do things, okay? And look at what is right next to it. Here's the death card, okay? So now we all know that with the disease that came in, the person that leashed it out is causing death, lots of death, and it's moving quickly. It's traveling quickly. Death is trampling over everybody, or oh, everything, okay? And as we're trying to reach a new day that you see back here, this new day is not coming anytime soon. We have, you know, the elderly dying. We have children dying. We have other people that's already died from it, okay? So it's, it's moving fast. It's coming in fast, okay? This disease is moving at a rapid, rapid speed. Okay, so next we have the, and this is an ending, okay? Death means an ending. It also means transformation, ending. So he wanted death so he can transform the world to his order, okay? I don't know if you can understand what that means, but they leashed it out to cause death and then transform the world to his order, okay? That's the new world order. And now we have judgment. Okay, so with judgment in the upright position, it's it's the awakening. I call this the aha card, but it's the awakening card. Because the angel is blasting his horn, and you see there's a red cross here, so salvation is coming. And um, 
the people are waking up and they're this is the card of realization okay but it's in the reverse why are we in the reverse okay because that help that we need isn't coming a lot of us still are in denial about this disease we're still in denial about the new world uh the, the new world coming and uh god this energy is horrible horrible in here um yeah so with judgment in the reverse that some of us can't hear the true calling of a situation still still the government can't hear the true calling of the situation i know that they're trying and a lot of us you know don't want to some of us i see some of us don't want to follow the, the new rules that are coming as far as you know covering your mouth not going out um, today there was a news, uh, you know, I live in Dallas, Texas, and just right before I did this reading, there was, the news came out and they said in Tarrant County, which is Fort Worth and Arlington. Okay, so we have Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, that makes one big metroplex here. So in Tarrant County, which includes Fort Worth and Dallas, all bars, lounges, clubs are closing as of today, effectively as of today. Gyms, all gyms are closing, all nursery schools are closing. Um, the only food that you will be able to get is drive through, drive through, and so far delivery. But I, again, I do see delivery stopping as people will be afraid to drive for those Uber Eat companies, whatever those companies are that deliver your food. People will start becoming afraid to drive with that and. Um, deliver the food or people be afraid to order and have it delivered because they feel like it might be contaminated by the person that's delivering it so that will banish as well I do see it happening I asked in the next two years what do we see you know with this new world order in the next two years and this is what I see it's gonna take a, two, a good two years for everything to calm down you know they still haven't even developed the vaccine for it you know that it's still spreading um and they're figuring out different ways to contain it like closing everything up of course that's going to make united states lose trillions and trillions of dollars okay not just millions or billions but i see trillions everyone i see poverty coming because of this okay so then we as the people um are are going to be in a state of mind just like yesterday this is basically telling me the same thing that it told me yesterday i see um people wishing to go back to the way things used to be right before this virus hit which was just a few weeks ago we're going to be in such a state that we're going to be wishing for yesteryear what happened to yesterday this is the same thing it told me the day before what happened to yesterday why what is what is going on what is happening why is this happening to us can we get back to where we used to be okay now with the empress and the reverse this is a this is a huge loss i see lots of deaths these two deaths fell under each other there's death and the empress means a huge loss, possibly death. They fell underneath each other. I see pregnant women that will, infants will be infected with the coronavirus. So there'll be a lot of abortions. In the next two years, I see a lot of abortions due to the coronavirus. I see, um, I see a lot of women losing their babies, like miscarriages due, due to that. Um, I see a lot of loss in, in um, also the elderly people. I also see a lot of loss in farmers, farmers that have crops. They're going to lose their, their crops. Their, their crops are going to fail. I see a lot of that. And I did say that yesterday in my reading. It's coming up again. But this is a strong, strong message for pregnant women. These two cards fell underneath each other. Yes, strong message for pregnant women. Um, there's a huge loss in um, miscarriages, abortions. Women will want to abort their babies due 
to that they the baby has a virus. Excuse me, y'all. Let me drink something here. My cough has calmed down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna show you a. After this reading, I'm gonna show you a. I guess I call it a, a health ritual that the medicine man, when I was a little girl, taught me. Get this light. And through candle work and prayer, that can pick up diseases and basically heal you from anything. You know, you can believe it, not believe it, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to show it to you. I got my candle lit now due to my cough and I see it's picking up a lot of things the, the candles actually picking up a lot of things and I'll show it to you here in just a minute and this is going to be short y'all it's not long because it's basically giving me the same information that gave me yesterday okay so um, this is going to be the world this is scattered energy fighting I see a lot of fighting amongst everyone the energy is going to in the next two years the energy is going to be like fighting, lots of fighting amongst each other, mainly for products and stuff. Um, it's going to be a lot of he say, see, she say blame on each other. Um, even at workplaces, there's going to be a lot of fighting each other. Um, everyone's blaming each other for stuff. Uh, and sometimes I don't even know what they're fighting about. It's just a lot of fighting energy. Um, I'm also seeing small wars that are will erupt in the next two years. Um, maybe a possible attack on our country. Um, they they know that we're vulnerable right now, so I do see maybe a sneak attack or a possible. You might be hearing of a small sneak attack or possible attack on our country because we are vulnerable right now, and they know that. Okay. So, yeah, protect yourselves. I'm seeing that you need to protect yourself everywhere you go as far as wearing a mask, gloves. But not only that, protect yourself physically as far as watching out for someone that's trying to rob you. There's going to be many, many robberies. I see people snatching purses, um, driving off in your car, breaking your windows, trying to get in to steal food. You know, whatever they can get their hands on. Don't leave nothing in your car that's going to be in plain sight where someone will want to break your window and get in it to take it out. I do see that. I see a lot of cars stolen with this card. Many cars will be stolen. Um, as people are not working, they will lose their car note and their cars will get repossessed. So, which in turn will make them resort to crime just to have transportation so I do see a lot of cars being stolen I see again a lot of women getting their purchase purse purses snatched so be careful when you're out and about with your purses where you have them because they can easily be snatched away from you I see a lot of credit card fraud as businesses won't be accepting money anymore as that continues to grow and grow and grow I see people doing a lot of credit card fraud because you know this is going to be the new way of paying stuff a lot of people don't have credit cards or just basically will take advantage of that and create credit cards so there'll be a lot of credit card fraud fraud sorry i can't talk that's coming okay so you know this is just a short message because it basically talks about what the reading talked about yesterday for the new world order we are in the very tip of the iceberg is what my spirit guides tell me um, of it and after this calms down in the next two years another one will be leashed out and as we change everything that's changed as of this week is going to remain even if when the virus leaves most of it will remain as it changed and then when the next one comes we will change even more and more until finally the world is controlled the way they want to control it. That is what the new world order is. And when they got full control of it, heaven knows what will happen then. I mean, we don't want to be around for that, right? So hold tight. I'm going to get my candles and I'm going to show you this ritual and what to do. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, this is the candle of the Holy Spirit. It's yellow. I don't know if you can see it. 
I don't know why my light's not shining so bright. Okay, this is the candle of the Holy Spirit. And in the back, it has a little prayer that's in English and Spanish. So you can, you know, read, read it as you light it. There it is. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never be thirsty. John 6, 35. Okay, and then you're going to get a white candle. This one is white, but it's got other pictures on it, which I'm not going to show you. But you can buy just the clear glass candle, white, white wax. And then on a piece of paper, a white clean sheet of piece of paper, not with lines on it, but just a white clean sheet of paper, you're going to write down your intentions. Okay, and this is for sickness and health. Okay. And you're going to write everything that you need to happen. You're going to be praying in Jesus' name because this is nothing evil or nothing bad. You're going to be praying in Jesus' name. And you basically want to write, you know, please, Lord, protect me from the virus. Protect my family. Protect me as I travel, as I'm out and about. You know, things like that. Whatever it is that you want to manifest. If you're already sick, which, like me, I had the flu. That's why this candle is halfway burnt out because I've been using it. And as, my, as the candle goes away, my cough goes away, okay? And so you're going to write on a piece of paper for each candle, one for the same thing for each candle, separate pieces of paper. And once you put them next to each other, you're going to get a glass of water. Yes, this glass has got wax in it. It looks dirty, and it's going to become cloudy because the water is what's manifesting the sickness out of you. And as the water gets dirty and waxy, it's going to pick up whatever disease you have, whatever sickness you have, and it'll appear in here. That's why this water's starting to look cloudy. There's a piece of wax floating in it. Try not to touch it like I just did. And this is wax. This wax did, came from out of nowhere. It just appeared there. I didn't pour it on there or anything like that. It just it started appearing there. Okay, so you, and once you got your pieces of paper written down under each one, you're going to get your glass of water right in the middle. You're going to set them side by side. You're going to get your glass of water right in the middle, and you're going to light your candle one at a time. You're going to light this one first, and you're going to pray the back of it. And then you're going to ask for your petition in Jesus' name. Please, dear Lord, and you're going to read what you wrote on that paper. Please protect me from sickness, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you're going to do the same with the white one. You're going to light it in Jesus' name. You're going to ask God for the help that you've written on this paper. Okay. When you light the candle, do not use the same lighter or the same matchstick. Use a different, I use matchsticks. Use a different one. When you go to the top of the candle, you're going to make, when it's lit, when your matchstick is lit, you're going to make the sign of the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're going to make the sign of the cross with the lit, with the lit flame, and then you're going to light it. Blow that, blow, throw away that matchstick and get you a fresh one. And then you're going to do the same on this next candle. The reason I say this is because you don't want to transfer energies to each other, okay? Each time you light it, you're going to use separate matchsticks because you don't want to transfer what this one's picking up to this one with the matchstick, okay? I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but do as I say, okay? Do it exactly as I'm telling you, okay? Um, I do turn them off when I go to work, and then I turn them on when I come back home. I don't leave them lit when I'm not home because this glass gets hot and it breaks and you can cause a fire in your home. Always blow out your candles. Don't blow with your mouth. Cover them up with something and let the fire go out. We never blow candles with our mouth because of our mouth we speak ill stuff sometimes. And whatever you're speaking, you're going to put it on these holy candles. These are holy candles. You don't want nothing spoken bad into them. So do not pick it up like this and blow with your mouth to turn it off. You have to cover it with something. I usually use a plate. I use a little plate and I hold it down and I let the light just go out. Okay. But you can manifest many, many things with candle work. You just have to know what to do, how to do it, and what to pray for. Always pray in the name of Jesus Christ. God always comes first no matter what. He always has the final say-so. No matter what, whether you believe or don't believe, it doesn't matter. God has the final say-so. You can manifest anything 
anything that's good and for your higher good, if you ask the Lord to help you, these are just tools to help you along. All right, guys, that's the it. This is it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, please stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay in when you can. Don't let anyone or anything hurt you or harm you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Protect yourselves out there because we are in the times, the beginning of the times of the end. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.